Assalamu alaikum. My brothers and sisters, Allah has created us in a way that He wants us to love ourselves as He created us. Learn to love who you are, your complexion, your hair, your nose, your eyes, your lips, whatever else it may be, your features, your height. Allah wants you to love who you are. And Allah does not want you to be enslaved by people in a way that you feel you have to meet certain requirements in order to be accepted by others or looked at as pretty or beautiful or handsome. Subhanallah. Remember, if you are under pressure to look a certain way, you're enslaved. Subhanallah. If you are under pressure to perhaps paint your face in a certain way in order to be considered okay in your circle, then that circle has dictated the pace when Allah says, be who you are, subhanallah. So my brothers and sisters, someone asked me about filters and they said, is it okay to use filters in Islam? Now remember, there are so many types of filters. Some of them convert you into animals. Avoid those, subhanallah. Some of them convert you into a clown or something strange and silly. Avoid those, subhanAllah. If, for example, some might clear your skin a little bit or they might make you look slightly uh, better in terms of clarity or brightness, that's fine, subhanAllah. But the minute it crosses a threshold, and you would know what that is, and it's not just brightness or making the image a little bit clearer and so on, but it's got to do with changing your features and it's got to do with perhaps making you look like a clown, subhanAllah, making you look, and I know you might say it's just a laugh and so on, but avoid that. If you are really concerned about your relationship with Allah and meeting with Him and the last day, then it's not all about just a laugh. Sometimes you have to look into what that laugh is all about. If it is something that perhaps Allah may not be happy with, or that might not be uh, something you'd be proud of on the Day of Judgment, avoid it. Stay away from it, subhanAllah. You don't need it by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we've seen a lot of people who are so embarrassed about themselves. In fact, so many young people are so embarrassed of themselves that they hate themselves unless they were to paint their faces or unless they were to have filters that don't show exactly who they are. Is that not a form of enslavement? Think about it. You just cannot come out to greet your visitors without, you know, or should I say, just being yourself. It's just you. Subhanallah. Where did that happen? And when did it happen? Over the last few decades, we've actually become so conscious of trends. And we want this perfect look when Allah says, you know what, just love yourself as you are. Don't worry. The minute we go beyond a certain point, when it comes to uh, changing our features and all of that, Remember, think about Allah and the fact that He made you and He wants you to love yourself. Just think about that. And He wants you to be independent. He, the word is liberated. He wants you to be liberated from the shackles that have been placed by whether it is society, community, the trends around us, whatever it may be, social media. So a truly liberated male or female is the one who can actually you know, come be themselves completely, come out in the open and just be themselves. Subhanallah. I am myself. I don't need to uh, live up to a certain standard of perhaps looks in order for me to consider myself acceptable. That's not Islam. Islam teaches us you are who Allah created you. That's who you are. You are as Allah created you and that's what you should love. And that's the reason why Islam tells you to just cover yourself so that no one judges you based on things. If you've covered yourself, no one judges you based on your, your organs, your body parts, your, you know, your size, your complexion, your, perhaps your face and so many other things. Subhanallah. 
And then people think that that is enslavement. Yet, true enslavement is the opposite of that. When we expose to the degree that we become uh, so conscious of every aspect of our bodies that we simply hate ourselves, that is the problem. That is the problem. You hate your real self. And there goes. You're calling yourself liberated. May Allah protect us and grant us ease and goodness. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala liberate us in the true sense. Let's learn to love ourselves exactly as we are. And those who look at us and love us as we are, those are the ones who truly we should cherish because they've understood. They love you for who you are, not for what you forced yourself to look like. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad.